Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, September 29th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. They offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. You can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. And October is National Chiropractic Month, and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment when you mention KC Sports, SheKC, or Good Sports when you call in to Kansas City Chiropractic. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines, and you are watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show. Now, this show is being taped at Oliver's Pizzeria, which is located at 4800 West, 135th Street in Parkway Plaza, just west of Rowe and east of Knoll, where you can take advantage of their $5 sandwich special at lunch and enjoy a club, a meatball grinder, or a barbecue brisket sandwich for only $5 with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. You can call Oliver's at 913-851-5111 or visit oliverspizzeria.com. Now, today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN, 1510 Saturdays at 8 a.m., and our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel, and that's all one word. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our latest issue of SheKC is now out and available at over 500 locations. And in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, uh, it's available free at over 700 locations in KC. Now, in this month's Kansas City Sports and Fitness, we continue to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. And we also feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. Now, this month, we analyze the Chiefs' slow start and what that means to the team for the rest of the season and to the fans. And in our new hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we have an article on youth hockey, and we give you an update on the construction of the brand-new outdoor NHL-sized rink, which is scheduled to open at the KC Ice Center in November. And at SheKC, we have a story on former Olathe East and KU basketball player Daniel McRae, who is now playing pro basketball in the WNBA. Plus, we show you ways to stay safe and protect yourself this fall. You can pick up your current copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at Burger King's at both Mincy's on Berry Road, Mr. Good Sense, the Kansas City Ice Center, Fieldhouse of KC here at Oliver's Pizzeria, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website, and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website as well. And our publication, SheKC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC.com. You can check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC, all one word, or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, I mentioned we're out here at Oliver's Pizzeria. We had a little bit of pizza before we went on the air. Tasted great. It was wonderful. You, everyone should come out and check out Oliver's. We're going to have uh, the owner of Oliver's Pizzeria on in the second segment, so we'll talk about his menu and all the different things that you can get here at Oliver's Pizzeria. Our first guest is a friend to our show. She is Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic. And Dr. McIntosh is a board-certified chiropractor licensed in Kansas and in Missouri. In addition to being licensed to provide general chiropractic care, Dr. McIntosh is a certified chiropractic sports physician. Uh, she works with athletes 
from multiple disciplines on specific sports-related problems. Welcome to the show, Dr. McIntosh. Thanks, Thank you. Steve. Thanks for coming out. Everything smells good, and boy, <laughs> they've got a great, great specials, don't they? Yes, they do, and we'll talk about that in, in just a little bit. Cool. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say uh, this month with the October issue is my seventh year of owning Kansas City oh, Sports that's and fantastic. Fitness. I want to thank you for being a supporter of Kansas City Sports and Fitness for all the many years oh, that we've well, known we each other. I really, really appre- appreciate it. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you coming on the show and Absolutely. Sharing, your, sharing your wisdom and your knowledge with, with <laughs> our audiences. Um, we do our best. Yeah. That's all. Now, in our... Um, issue of the September issue. We're still talking about that. Uh, You wrote about something that's obviously extremely topical Mm -hmm. at this time uh, and will continue to be topical through the fall and into the rest of the sports seasons, but in particular right now because it's football season and that is concussions. Um, Let's talk about, you know, I mean, there's never enough opportunity to talk about it, first of all. No, concussion is, it is a lifelong problem if you have a problem with it. Uh, That's the thing is it's not just that I had a concussion and I'm over it and no big deal anymore. It's that when you have a concussion, the second impact syndrome. So if you go back to play, if you really don't take that time to heal, all that kind of stuff, there's inflammation and swelling around the brain and it's only it's in this tiny box Mm -hmm. you know the brain box that the skull is the brain box and it just is not it's not forgiving right there's no extra (laughs) space and so when it swells the only thing that can give way is the brain and so if that uh isn't allowed to completely heal and then you get another problem uh you have long-term brain changes and so it's not so much that even that you're going to notice like uh, just today, but when we talk about the NFL and we talk about all this stuff, I mean, it is permanent personality changes. It is permanent memory loss. It is, uh, you know, really life-changing inability to function mm-hmm. uh, when you talk about multiple, multiple brain traumas. Right. So and Now, some of the things that um, you think about, obviously, do you, you don't have to be knocked out. No, to no, no. A, to get that, a was a, that was the old, like, oh, it, it's no big deal unless you're knocked out. No, that's not true. Of course, when you are knocked out, it's like the brain <laughs> is like, reset. You know, it's yeah. like hitting that button on the computer, like, nope, we're done. And <laughs> we're right. st- stopping right now. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to try again. Um, and it can be for a very short period of time. I mean, it could be that literally somebody was knocked out and woke back up before they even hit the ground. Right. But it can still be that traumatic and that shut off, that much of a shut off. And it's the same thing that happens in like a whiplash accident and an auto accident and things like that. You that can get a concussion from a whiplash accident? Absolutely. Because that was one of my questions as well. Is you don't necessarily have to have an impact to the head. It's Do you? you uh, it, it's the change in velocity and direction of right. the brain inside right. the skull. And so... If you are, let's say you've got your seatbelt on and, you know, you're on this head-on impact and the the seatbelt stops you. And so you move forward so quickly mm-hmm. that the change, the stopping, forces the brain into the front of the skull. Right. Uh, it, the same thing can happen. Typically, uh, in in war, when we see a lot of this kind of stuff, concussive force from a from a bomb blast. Right. You know, from that kind of stuff. So it's you don't see the force, but it's a concussive force, and so it has the same. And that is called an MTBI. It's a minor minor brain traumatic injury. So, um, y- you know, it it's it's still a concussion, and it still has the same effects. Right. Right. Now, if you take a hit like that. Mm-hmm. It, different individuals are going to react differently to that. Do the effects and the symptoms hit you immediately? Not always. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times you will see that. You'll see the confusion right away. You'll see the loss of memory right away. The, uh, you know, they may not know who the president is today. They might not, you know, be able to remember three things in a row right away. But, um, no, the worst concussions come on later. Like, you don't see the symptoms right then. But actually, that is a difference because that is a brain bleed. Like, oh. if you, when they talk about, oh, you had a concussion and you keep your kid up all night and that kind of thing. Yeah. It's not so much you want to, it's keeping them up. It's that when things start to happen, you can be talking and everything's fine. And the brain changes so quickly mm-hmm. because it can it can handle this much. But then you get just that next little bit over and, and now it can't. 
And so that is a brain bleed. So that is, you've had an impact, and, okay, you know, you weren't really, you know, you, you had your bell rung. It, right, it's, uh, right. You're not feeling so good, especially if you're nauseous, all these other kinds of things. But, you know, there's very, very tiny vessels in the brain. Mm -hmm. And so, and there's, and it's very vascular. I mean, you know, w we want to feed the brain. We want to give it all the nutrients and all the energy and all the stuff. So there's a lot of blood flow going to the brain. And so tiny, tiny capillaries. If any of those tear or break, mm -hmm. then you can have the blood that's released into the capsule and into that area. And blood itself is toxic to the brain. And so, really? yeah, you, you don't actually want it touching the brain because it damages it. But then also the thing is, then that small amount of blood continues to get bigger, and it's a space-occupying mm -hmm. lesion, and it gets mm -hmm. bigger. And, and then that's where they want you to stay, uh, keep checking it. on someone to see, is their function still good? Right. You know, right. is their function changed? Right. Because that's, the, that's what you're looking for. It's I not see. just to keep them up. You know, right, right. Because you that's know. not going to necessarily cure them. It's no, by not staying at all. awake. You just, no. you just need to follow them to see if it's just if that you can't evaluate related. them right. if they're asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, pretty not, much not it. Not those things. So now you yeah. you mentioned different levels of concussions. There, there are you know, yes. different grades. Is is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, the, they've got a new grading system that they've been using for a while now, and uh, so it. it it at least is identifying a little bit between, you know, just a very mild, mild concussion. And, again, you still need to be cleared for all these if you are involved in sports. I mean, you just can't be on sign like, oh, yeah, coach, I'm good. You know, right. everything's fine. Right. Don't worry about it. It's like you really need to be evaluated at different levels, right. uh, you know. Because right. And coaches, of course, and parents need to be more aware of that as well. You know, uh -huh. we, all, we all want our kids to be tough. We all yes. want our kids to... To be, uh, you know, the star of the game and things like that. Sure. So, you know, you especially uh -huh. especially in macho sports like football Absolutely. and things like that. But, but um, coaches are getting more education on that. And, right. um, you know, I know that in hockey, they take them to a quiet room. Now, I don't exactly know what the quiet room exactly means, but I guess it just takes away all the other stimulation so that the, the, the focus can be on the individual. Well, yeah, your evaluation is much clearer when there's not so many distractions. Right. Because, obviously, if the kid's involved in the game and then... You know, they ask they're asking them questions, and or they're asked to remember things. They may just right. be distracted. Right. You know, you right. may not be getting a clear evaluation I and gotcha. that kind of stuff. So, on that side, you're actually erring on the side of caution, and you would keep them out maybe longer than they actually needed to be, sure. and stuff. So, and also, uh, one of the treatments for concussion is is reduced stimulus, and so yeah. you know really don't don't be watching tv trying to study to doing all these things it is letting the brain rest right and stuff so that's when you really want to see much more quiet you don't want them on their texting 24 <laughs> 7 you know all this kind of stuff it's really kind of shutting down and resting your brain just as you would rest a muscle uh, or you sure. know if you had a muscle tear or a pull or a, something like that um you know Obviously, when you have a break, you cast it because you mm -hmm. don't want it to move. Mm -hmm. So that's what we want the brain to actually just g be given a break. So that's one of the treatments, obviously, for a mm -hmm. concussion. What are some of the other things that? You well, recognize? there's there. I mean, time because you want to because the <coughs> swelling has to go away and that kind of thing. Right. I mean, and in extreme cases, obviously, where they were hospitalized and that kind of thing. I mean, if there is huge swelling, they may actually have to drill a hole in the skull right, because right. they got to relieve the pressure. pressure right. uh, because if you don't, again, it's compressing the brain, and so it's going to damage that mm -hmm. segment. And so it is just really, uh, it, it's really it's such a huge variety of treatment. But what you're mostly going to see is, again, not being able to get hit again. Uh, because whereas that second impact syndrome is where more damage is going to, and right. it doesn't take very much yeah. impact. That's the other thing, is where when you think of uh, the first time around, you could, you it maybe took an extreme amount of force to to give you that first concussion, but the second one, it, it doesn't take anywhere near that kind of force, and it also depends on how you're hit, uh, because is it straight on? I mean, you're thickest right here. The skull okay. is thick as there. And so then, but then if you're hit from the side, you really are going to take, it's going to be a lot more problematic really? if you're hit from the side. And because it's, it's just set up, it's tethered 
in a way mm -hmm. that front to back is the most common way we would be hit. Right. And so side to side is going to have, and your skull is very, very thin, especially at the temporal region. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's why you'll see, you know, in martial arts movies, that's where they hit them and things like that. But, <laughs> you know, that's, ah, that's something a to remember thing. if you're defending yourself. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> that. Now, one of the things, a startling statistic, you wrote this uh, for SheKC, uh, it was in the springtime, I think, uh, okay. is that females are a higher, higher risk, risk of concussion mm -hmm. in sports than, than boys are or, or yep. men, men are. What is the reason for that? Well, they, they, don't, they aren't 100% sure. One, they think it may have to do with the strength of the neck muscles, right. being able to hold it in a, uh, to keep your head off the ground, you know, in an impact where you'd be going down. Uh, guys just have much bigger muscles there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. The, th the skull is thicker. Tru truly in yeah. men it's it's uh it's thicker uh but really they were looking at the increased amount in women and they really think it may have to do with the uh, strength of the neck muscle okay okay so yeah. preconditioning is always always going to be your best defense so how does chiropractic help with uh concussion issues i mean obviously you know quieting this everything down and things like that but what when you have the nervous system is is fa like facilitated which is excited it's it's overstimulated because you got too much going in right i mean it, uh, chiropractic is great for all the result and effects because usually you're going to have a whiplash with it usually you're going to mm -hmm. have I see. other things going on I, see. I mean the concussion is truly a lot of time uh, your fish oils, that kind of thing, are going to truly help. Uh, so there's a lot of nutritional treatment that can be done ah, to help, uh, it depending, a bit, again, upon the severity. Because if you're in the hospital and you have to drill a hole in your skull, I'm not going <laughs> to really help you. But uh, it is one of those things that the evaluation for any doctor, you really, after those impacts, after that participation, you want them evaluated by a doctor. For so. sure. And really, before they return to the yes, game, before they return it's to play. really important that they get reevaluated yes. and they get a doctor's okay and yeah and if they don't feel right even yeah. after the doctor's okay you know the doctor's not going to give them okay if they don't feel right anyway so he's going to say he's going to say let's let's talk in two weeks or something like yeah. that anyway but so. usually there's so many other injuries that we are assisting with and you know and and so pain is going to be definitely something we're going to help right. with and and realigning everything so that when you do have healing that the healing is proper right right yeah. now there are other measures that you can take to prevent concussions and you outlined some of those in, in I always the think the, the, I mean, the number one is the mouth guard. Mm -hmm. uh, because this uppercut is the new thing that, it, or is, it, it, when they talk about it in a box or a glass jaw, a lot of people, it just, that uppercut action, because really, that it's a distraction from the spinal cord. Right. And so it's a very different injury than most people would occur, you know, have occur. And so that's, it's just very dangerous. So injury. the mouth guard, and, and I know there are better mouth guards uh -huh. that are out there than others that actually yes. do the job better. But the, what does the mouth guard do when you, when you get, you know, that? Well, I, I, I look, I get a lot of pictures from the Chiefs games. Yes. And I, I look at the guys that are getting blocked, the guys that are rushing the quarterback, and they're always getting hit. Right, right, like that. right here, right underneath to push yes. in, pushing their heads back. And I know there are linemen that also will wear the collar in the back to keep their, right. not only more for the whiplash type well, of thing. Well, there's a cowboy collar thing yeah. that's called, it comes around, again, not allowing for as much extension, right, especially right. in your front line, your center, that kind of thing. Right. Um, when you have this uppercut action, uh, a lot of it is jamming the temporal mandibular joint, the TMJ. TMJ. So it's right. the jaw, and there are, it's, I forgot how many thousands of, of nerve connections right there. And so it, it's actually forcing the jaw into the skull. And so you're getting a lot, but it, a lot of it's the distraction of the brain bouncing up and then hmm. back down. Uh, for the concussion part of it, the other part of that is just it's such a damage and such an abuse, you know, again, on the jaw and the jaw going into, into the skull because it's attached to the skull. And then with helmets and things like that, you've got to put it on and, and twist it and things you like that. You want to make sure it's tight enough. It doesn't. Yeah. yeah, that it doesn't twist. Just to having anything on is not really the deal. That's uh, They have the new guards that are the new helmets with the air that fills it up so that it doesn't move. Right. So that it can't, you can't just 
go up and down because it's most dangerous when it comes off. Right. You know, and so then now you're completely exposed. There, there's and a lot of improvements in the new equipment. I mean, the uh, materials are stronger, the fit is better, all that kind of stuff. I don't know how when you got the guys with all the hair how that's working because uh, you know it's uh, <laughs> yeah because that's a natural thing to make it slide. Yeah, it, it, absolutely. It's harder to it tighten is. it. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. And and that I'm sure is very tough. And parents should should pay attention to that real tough especially if your kid's changing in size sure may change even over a season well and that's very tough to keep you know to keep it tight i mean i know bicycle helmets were always difficult to try and Uh get them fitted properly to the to my kids yes that was on me probably but Uh but you know a a hockey helmet a football helmet any kind of thing like that it has you know you probably have to look at it every single game well and that's where the air ones are really good Uh, because you can change that you know because the the foam pad and that it's pretty much standard when it when it's fit it's fit and that's going to stay there now like your bike helmets have got more adjustable Mm -hmm. straps and everything uh the other helmet it really does have to fit a lot snugger you know and that kind of thing right right Uh so so we're going to hear more about concussions always a problem it's always a problem in in almost every sport uh any any collision sport and so. I know that there there are some of those sports like soccer that are starting to add helmets to the game. Uh, I've got a, a person that is uh-huh. a, a friend who is a soccer coach who is a very strong proponent of that. Of those new helmets? Yeah, they're, they're they just ha- a soft, kind of a, a soft s- helmet. Right. It's a well, it's for headers. It's yeah. for the impact for heading the ball. But they have to relearn to use it. Right. And so if you start them, yeah, if we start starting kids younger so that they, that's how they learn to head, that won't be such a problem. And I think there's a high school where they've turned and they're going to start, all the players are going to start yeah. wearing it. And, I, and especially the goalies, because I guess the goalie's diving out there and he can get kicked in the head. Or yes. Or he can get kicked in the head. Right. As well. So that's Absolutely. real important. And impact with the ground. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whenever you're diving, there's always That's that impact true. with the ground That's possibility. True. Yeah. Even though it is the ground, it is a little bit more giving than yeah. the cement floor that, that like we're on right now. But yes. now, by the time this show airs, it will be National Chiropractic Month, Absolutely. which is um, October. We're taping this on the 29th of September, um, mm-hmm. and you have a special out in our October issue for 20% off of your first chiropractic sure. treatment. When you call and mention KC Sports or SheKC or Good Sports, let's give your information on how people can reach you. It's uh, Kansas City Chiropractic, 816-753-4600, KansasCityChiropractic.com, or you can find us on Facebook. Easy enough. Easy enough, and you can check out our YouTube channel for not only this show, but many of the other shows that Dr. McIntosh has been on with us. We talk about a whole variety of different things. I want to thank you for coming out thank you and so joining much. us today here at Oliver's. We really appreciate it. We're going to take a quick break, and you are watching or listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. Uh, we're coming to you again from Oliver's Pizzeria. It's located on 135th in the Parkway Plaza Center between Rowe and Nall. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Acupuncture Month, and you can save 20% on your first acupuncture treatment. Just mention KC Sports or SheKC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, 
Your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913-438-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrew's Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrew's at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. If you're buying or selling a home, contact Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. The Shannon Dozer Real Estate Group delivers a personal touch, professional approach, and positive results for every customer. Call Shannon at 913-488-9126 or visit shannondozer.com. We are back. You're watching and listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazine. I'm Steve Fish, and this show is being taped at Oliver's Pizzeria, located at 4800 West 135th Street in Parkway Plaza, just west of Row and east of Knoll, where you can take advantage of their $5 sandwich special at lunch and enjoy a club, a meatball grinder, or a barbecue brisket sandwich for only $5 with your coupon in KC Sports and Fitness. Call Oliver's at 913-851-5111 or visit oliverspizzeria.com. Now this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental. Those yellow buses that you put your kids on to transport them to and from school also can be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. So the next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. Now in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. This month we interview Jayhawk quarterback Dane Crist, uh, Wildcat tight end Travis Tannehill, and Tiger freshman starting guard and Lee Summit high grad Evan Bame. Uh, And in She KC, we feature a story on the UMKC volleyball team, plus give you the warning signs of something called the female athlete triad. Now, you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center and Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. Now, you'll find SheKC all over KC at 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. Now, if you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are kcsportspaper.com and shekc.com. And now you can also view our show, this show, and some of our past shows on YouTube. All you have to do is search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include collegiatecamo.com. Collegiate Camo combines your love of outdoors and loyalty to your favorite college sports team. From college camouflage truck decals to jumbo decals for boats, Collegiate Camo is the ultimate source of all things college and camo. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logo products. They feature products for over 40 schools, and all you need to do is visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products for your school that you can proudly display. 
The Kansas City Renegades professional indoor football team tailgating and indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com and continue to follow the team in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Plus, PM Sleep Lab, uh, Lab. over 60 million Americans suffer from one or more of the 80 different sleep disorders, and PM Sleep Lab has a staff, staff of sleep disorder specialists who will help you diagnose these problems. They'll work with your physician to treat the condition and improve your health. Give PM Sleep Labs one night for a lifetime of better sleep. For more information or to set up a study at one of their three Kansas City locations, call them at 913-721-5511 or visit pmsleeplabs.com. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in SheKC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic, Safe Kansas, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, your wellness connection, Pulaski & Associates, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, Gardens of Delight Yoga, Heritage College, the Field House, I-9 Sports, and Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. Now, we're going to take another quick break, uh, and when we come back, we'll talk to the owner of Oliver's Pizzeria, uh, Warren Weissman. You are watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and SheKC Magazine Show. We are coming to you from Oliver's Pizzeria. They are located off of 135th Street in the Parkway Plaza Center between Rowe and Nall. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. Take advantage of the NFL Sunday Golf Special at Heart of America Golf Academy. On Sundays from 11 to 3, play nine holes with cart for only $15. And sign up now for play and practice memberships. Visit HOAGolfacademy.com or call 816-513-8940 for details. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. Come check out KC's premier basketball training facility, the Field House of KC. The Field House is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, from player skill development, athletic performance enhancement, and character enrichment. Mark your calendar to visit the Field House for their grand opening on Saturday, October 6th. Youth and men's leagues, sports camps, exercise, and more. The Field House builds the athlete inside the player. Stop by the Field House of KC at 135th and Quivira. Call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Sign up now for the fall programs presented by I-9 Sports. Flag football, soccer, cheerleading, basketball, and baseball for boys and girls 2 to 14. All skills are welcome and there are no tryouts. Call 913-904-0810 or visit I-9sports.com. 
Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com. And for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Donate your life-saving blood every Monday during football season at Community Blood Center and receive a free large Papa Murphy's pizza. For details, like CBC on Facebook or click SaveAlifeNow.org. Come on out to the Kansas City Comets Fan Fest on September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Independence Event Center. Admission is free. For more information on Fan Fest or tickets for the Kansas City Comets upcoming season, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC magazines. I am Steve Fish. Uh, this show is being taped at Oliver's Pizzeria, located at 4800 West, 135th Street in Parkway Plaza, just west of Rowe and east of Knoll, where you can take advantage of their $5 sandwich special at lunch and enjoy a club, a meatball grinder, or a barbecue brisket sandwich for only $5 with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Oliver's at 913-851-5111 or visit oliverspizzeria.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can take a tax donation credit plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. Watch for upcoming recycling events on October 6th at Lee Summit High School and October 13th at the Black & Veatch Campus on, in Overland Park. For more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. Now, I also want to mention some of the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the plaza, who just joined us in our last segment. Uh, former Royals World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us. And nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more. And you can read a health or a sports tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness or She KC. To read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and Sport Clips all over Kansas City. And She KC is available at over 500 locations. Now, this month's She KC, we tell you if it's best to eat before or after exercise. We also write about rowing for fitness, exercise, and college scholarships. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness. We give advice on how to simplify your game. And in our high school report presented by Siege Sports, we write about the Fort Osage Indians and their quarterback, Steve McBee, and tight end, Devante Mosby. Now, I also want to mention that on October 6th, we will be at the Fieldhouse of Kansas City, located at 135th and Quivira, for their grand opening. Our taping will start at around 12 o'clock or so that day. On October 13th, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center recording an upcoming show, and the KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Our taping will start at about 1230 that day. Now, on October 20th, we will be at Old Shawnee Pizza, located about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road. Our taping usually starts at about 1230 at Old Shawnee. So come on out and join us for these events, and you might see yourself on TV. Now, I also want to mention that the Missouri Comets season starts up next month in November, and we've got tickets we're giving away to one of their upcoming games. In fact, we actually have five pair of tickets, and uh, all you have to do to enter to win is email us your contact information. Just email us at freestuff at kcsportspaper.com. And we also will have an entry form in the October issue of KC Sports. So enter today, and you might be a winner. Now, uh, we are joined by Warren Weissman. He is the owner of Oliver's Pizzeria, the host of our show today. And it's his birthday today, too. Thank you. Uh, happy birthday. Thank happy you. birthday to you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I have to say, Warren, whatever you're cooking now smells tremendously good. What is that that we're smelling? Uh, well, you probably smell a little bit of the barbecue brisket that we're yeah. cooking. It's yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It smells Those, wonderful. Yeah. It smells absolutely wonderful. Now, Warren, you're, you're really quite an entrepreneur. Not only do you have this restaurant, you also own a floral shop and a landscaping business, and you're looking at adding more businesses in the near future. First off, let's, you know, let's talk about Oliver's and, uh, 
you know, and and how long you've been doing this? How long have you been operating Olive? Well, we've been, we've been, I've been, I've been working on the plan for about mm, close to six to eight months, right. and uh, finally got it open in March, March nineteenth. We opened up the doors and started at it. Now your your name is Warren O. Weissman. Weissman. Yeah, is, Oliver. is Oliver the middle name? Oliver is the middle name. Yeah. Okay, and it, but it's also named after your son, who's a. a Four years old. Is yes. That right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's that's Russell, his middle that's name. Too. Russell Oliver. Was right. Yes. Yeah. Right. So it's a it's a family. It's obviously <coughs> yeah. a family owned right. business here, yep. and you're going to put him to work probably when he hits age five or well, six. Well, actually, right? to tell you the truth, he already likes to work. He always he, he's, <laughs> he's out. Uh, he's at he's usually at the front door sometimes greeting people and uh -oh. menus and taking them to the to oh, the tables. Oh, that's awesome. So at five already, he's 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 a real. <laughs> and uh, he gets all the pizza that he wants to eat. Yeah, uh, he, you know. yeah, he's always out, and he's back there in the back making them all the time. So <laughs> <laughs> he can. Toss them. Yeah, yeah, he's, right. he's good at that. You're working on the toss yeah. the little kids' pizza. Yeah, right? yeah, he's yeah. good at that. Um, so, what are your hours here at the uh, the restaurant? Well, we're open from uh, 11 to 10 Monday through mm, Thursday, or yeah, Thursday, and then we're open from 11 to 11 Friday and Saturday night, and then on Sundays we're open from 11 to 9 on uh, Sunday. So you're here so a lot of hours. Yeah, I'm here quite a few. A lot of yeah, hours. Yeah, in fact, you've got your outfit on your the, yeah. the, the cook's or yeah, whatever the, old, the chef's outfit got the old chef outfit yeah. on. I had to dress up for today <laughs> thank you thank you i appreciate that uh i like usually the, you'll I like catch the double breasted yeah, look yeah you, usually you'll catch me in a sweatshirt or a or a, you <laughs> that's, know, it's a t-shirt that's usually here. what i know you from yeah, and you're so running in here and you're I'm running in and out, out. i'm when, in and yeah, out all when, the time. when we meet yeah um now obviously uh, pizzeria is in the name but you serve a lot more than pizza yeah, we actually, uh, it's a regional pizza, so you can pre pretty much get your, um, your. We what we did was we took our beers and we matched our beers with our, our different pizzas from a different city, parts of the town. So we got Chicago beer, we have, that matches our Chicago deep dish, and St. Louis cracker style that matches our, so we got beer that matches that, and so there's some different, different styles of stuff we went with, and just some different stuff. We also, we just came out with a new turkey club, you know, we got a BLT, and we got a barbecue brisket. We're getting ready to offer burn-ins, you know, and some different nice. barbecues that we're going to be coming in with and, and actually adding a lot more variety to the menu. Right, right. So let's talk about the pizza. Let's talk, talk about the, the, the mainstay here. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of different pizzas that are available. Your menu is online mm -hmm. at oliverspizzeria.com. Right. But, um, you know, the classic combo is the meat lover's pizza. Well, it's, it's got some meats kind of in it. No, it's got mostly meats and all veggies in it. Yeah. And then say cheese is a it's a great name for a pizza. Right, you got uh, basically all the cheese. We got the we got a Provel cheese and we got a five blend Oliver's cheese. And then what we do is we take a fresh mozz and put on there too. And so it just gives a, a, an option of all kinds of cheeses. And when it's cheesy, I'm talking it's cheesy. <laughs> so people love that. Yeah. And then and then a favorite uh, barbecue chicken. I mean that has the, to be. But yeah, the barbecue chicken. We're going to be coming out with our, our new barbecue sauce. We're going to be offering on the shelf to sell. Really? Here coming up. Yeah. See, I, and and like we're going to have, gonna have we're going to have we got a whole new whole new deal coming up. We've uh, we got a new menu coming out and just some different stuff that is just going to really really pop for the year. So that's awesome. And margarita. Margarita pizza, it's really good. It's I've uh, never heard of that. It's actually got the pesto sauce on it, you know, and it's got the uh, tomatoes with basil on it, and it's just got an Oliver's cheese, or if you get the the St. Louis, it's got the Provel on it. Very so, nice. and yeah. the Provel is a little more creamier cheese than than the Oliver's, yeah. but uh, it's my favorite kind of cheese. Is, is it? Yeah. yeah. Chicken Alfredo, of course, that's kind of a mainstay. That's just yeah, just regular. We got a great cheesy Alfredo sauce with the chicken. Aloha Pizza, which is your one with pineapple. Who, whoever came up with the idea? I mean, it tastes good. Hey, it's great. Whoever it's came up with the idea of I, pineapple on pizza? I have no <laughs> idea, but what's so neat about it is we got that spicy sauce, and you take the pineapple, and it's, it enriches that. Enriches that, that you got the spicy and the and the um, and the it's, sweetness at the yeah. same time, and it's just a, it's a unique taste. Yeah, yeah. And the, I mean that we've been selling a lot of those. I bet, I bet. And then the fun guy pie. Fun guy. I'm not a fun guy kind of guy. I don't, okay. I'm, not, I'm not just straight <laughs> mushrooms, you know. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people like those mushrooms, but, I mean, I like the portobellas myself. So, I mean, straight up on some things, but I'm not on my pizza. I'm just a – I'm just – I like the pepperoni. I'm a cheese kind of guy. I just oh, add, add, the, add the mushrooms with the meat. Yeah, and the, yeah. And I'll, the I'll take it all. I'll yeah. eat it all at yeah. once, but I can't just eat mushrooms. For sure. Yeah, but right. but uh, for those on a diet that don't want the meat, it, right. it adds a we flavor got, we, to we it. We got right. something new. We got something new coming out. It's a uh, – it's basically a um, it's a steak pizza. Whew. It's a deep deep dish. It's gonna have mashed potatoes on it with uh, like an A1 steak sauce that we've mixed together with a with a, with a fajita steak on it. 
wow. mashed potatoes, and it's going to have potatoes. And, I mean, it's just going to be an awesome – Just and it's kind of like a gravy. It's just like a – and you got the bread because it's a deep dish bread. So you're eating your bread, and you're getting all that stuff at once. It's so a, it's, yeah, I was going to say it's an all-in-one meal. It's all-in-one meal, and it's, it's something <laughs> new. People – I mean, I've, I've had a lot of people talking about it, so we're going to try I've had baked – Potato pizzas and the, and they're great. I mean, yeah, they, they we don't. We haven't figured out if we're going to do the mashed fish. We're going to do right, the, the right. slice. We haven't. I haven't got it down got exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so a lot of pizza restaurants they specialize in one or the other. There's the Chicago, the New York, St. Louis, the you know whatever. You guys make all of them available. We make them all available because we we found out that a lot of people go into different places. They don't like everything. A lot of people like the variety of different things. So that's kind of way we came in, out about with this restaurant just to. To do it, we actually uh, we're getting ready to uh, open another location. We're uh, working on it right now, and uh, we're hoping to hit that out in Lewisburg. Actually, to tell you the nice. truth, that's the hometown where I'm from. So, right. you know, I'm I'm bringing it back to hometown. So, will it be at Oliver's? Same same. It'll be an Oliver's. Same thing. Yeah, we're going to do a nice little carry out with a sit down with a sit down uh, the sit down a uh, little restaurant out front. About 20 people, and then we're going to expand to the next side, and we uh, we're working on some new deals and hopefully get some stuff going big time growth plans yeah we're, we're we're trying we're trying you know i gotta get that that five-year-old i gotta get him rolling you gotta get him educated yeah in college, uh, start yeah. thinking about college so. well i'll tell you what that's gonna be a that's or gonna set be him a, up for a bunch of businesses well i'm, I'm hoping he, he he takes a little bit of strive and does something on his own but i'm pretty <laughs> sure he will for sure you well you you got to have him started the right way you know, working hard and, right. and thinking about that stuff, and exactly. he'll he'll have a job as he's well. Up. I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping yeah. that he can, he can get some of his high school buddies, and they can all come in here. And That's the way to do it. Do it so make it stronger. You know. That's the way to do it. Now, sandwiches are popular here as well. We've got a special uh, that we're doing with you guys for for lunchtime for right. sandwiches. Right. They're real popular. People can come in for those. Uh, who you've got like five favorites. What are some of the sandwiches? That well, we got a turkey club. It's really, really, really good. It's got the ham, turkey, lettuce, tomato, bacon, uh, white mayonnaise. It's got it's triple stacked up on a on a berry wheat bread that's toasted mm -hmm. with cheese on it, and it's really, 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 really good. And uh, that's my favorite sandwich. <laughs> I eat it all the time. But uh, turkey's the good whole, for you. But eating the whole thing, man, that, that'll that'll really? get you going. We also got a BLT. We stack it three times at the berry wheat and. We do three layers of three la layers of bacon on it with the lettuce and tomato wow. and stuff. So we try to keep all our produce fresh and cut every day. Every day we we come in and Ricardo's back there right now. I think <laughs> cutting her up and getting oh, her he's, yeah, he's yeah, been he's, here. He's since been back the here time since, we walked in here. Yeah, so he's before. been here since early morning. Yeah. He, he's always uh, he's always always working his rear off. So and then you have spaghetti and lasagna as you would right. expect. Right, got uh, uh, got some three ounce meatballs that are uh, Fontanini meatballs. They're out of Chicago. Really? Some really, really good. Tastes like they're home, homemade, but you know, can't make all the stuff homemade. That's you know? all right. Yeah. Plus salads and appetizers right. and, and a kids menu. You've yeah, also got, got a we kids do, menu. We do have a kids. So menu. it's a very family friendly place. Right. You got sports on TV for dad. Right. And for the boys and, and then, for the girls. Yeah, and we also we also have one on one the Fox on all the time. So we got the Chiefs Fox Network on. Sure. We, on Sundays we watch the game, and then we got the Fox Network on. Sundays, listening to the radio on on live, you know. So people can come in on a Sunday or any day, really, yep. and have a meal with with the family, or they can come pick up. They can call in an order, right. and they can come pick they up. They can as come well. and pick Just up. We're hoping to hoping to start off delivery here soon in November. You know, October, November, right, right. when the cold not months. Yeah, we're not going to hit too far out. We're maybe three mile, three mile, five mile radius from the from the location here. That's normal. And yeah. and we're not gonna we're not gonna do it, but if you want extra labor we'll probably go that bottom it's gonna cost you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You know. <laughs> yeah. If if it's a bad weather day it doesn't really matter <laughs> at that point. Well you know it, most people say if it's snowing out, I'll take the, the delivery driver to bring it to me. So. Yeah, absolutely you tip them nicely. Uh -huh. yeah. So you've got a whole bunch of specials. Hope I'm not the one driving. <laughs> You've got a whole bunch of specials. You do some special things. I see when we walk in the door here, you've got a karaoke night. Right, we do have Friday nights karaoke. Uh, last night was, uh, of course, Friday night, and it was a really big hit. You know, um, got a lady from uh, Blue Valley Northwest that's hosting the the uh, the deal right now. So her really? daughter, her daughters are her daughters go there. So I guess they're really pushing it and gonna make it really big for us. So I'm I'm looking forward, and all you guys, you know, out there, come on in. So. For sure, for sure, yeah, that's that's great. So, again, we've got a coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness uh, where you can take advantage of a $5 lunch special, and I think it's a club, a meatball grinder, 
or a barbecue right. brisket and sandwich. I did want to talk about that. We had a fall festival today, but it kind of went out because we didn't get the permit in time for the mm -hmm. for the year. But uh, we will be on that next year, and it's going to be it's going to be one of the big things. We're going to have a big band in. It's going to be one of those big. It's going to be a big deal. So big deal on the man's birthday. He's, yeah, he we're planned, he planned it on his birthday. Planned yeah. on my birthday, but it didn't go through. But oh, that's, that's all, right. all right. You still have plenty of celebrating right. that you can do now. Now we mentioned as well. Uh, let, let's. I'm going to mention your phone number again. It's nine one three eight five one fifty one eleven. You can also go online and look at the menu at oliverspizzeria.com. Um, you've got another business that's just a couple of doors down from here at in the Parkway Plaza. Uh, it's called Wow's Floral and Hardscape. Right. I, uh, before I got into this business, I was doing landscaping for about 20 years. Started off, uh, graduated high school cutting grass and uh, got into it really hard. And, you know, basically, you know, got into landscaping and went on into furthermore having quite a few crews and going and doing landscaping and turned around and the economy hit and we kind of ducked it down and dropped it all out and put open just a retail little floral shop and got a landscaping and we're doing you know a couple guy crew we just do for brick patios some outdoor kitchens mm -hmm. you know and we specialize in just the hardscape stuff basically fireplaces and stuff like that that people right. want in their backyard for winter fall right yeah you know, some, so. some really cool stuff i went on your website and you know, besides the obvious things, uh, irrigation and, and, you know, and then uh, taking care of the, the grass and all that stuff, you've got uh, the patios. Uh, you mentioned uh, you do outdoor lighting as right. well, a custom pool design. Right. Some really nice steps and we things do like some that. It's a great picture We do some on your great concrete stamping. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, we have, some real, have a really good guy that gives all our stamping for us. We go in and we do a landscape for him. He comes in and co he comes nice. in behind me and stamps it. And, uh a good friend of mine that I've known him for a long time. So. Very nice. Uh, koi ponds. Yep, we do koi ponds, outdoor kitchens. I mean, the yeah. whole surveying. I do water custom waterfalls. Water, custom yeah. waterfalls. We've done a few uh, bunch of waterfalls for Pierce Photography over in Belton, really? where they've done their yeah. photography studios and taking pictures of girls from school. You know, in front of it the, for the their, high school, the high school high pictures. School, yeah, and uh, actually. You can see some of those pictures that are actually hanging in in the was in the Belton movie theater out there. Really? Yeah. You know, so they yeah. had, they've had a lot of bunch bunch. I mean, he used to go out all over the place and see him around throughout Belton. Nice. When he was advertising his for, for yeah, right his business, yeah. But it's it's in his studio. He's got different ones that we've done. I've actually done sheets of water. I've done waterfalls. I've done. Um, he's actually had me do all kinds of different stuff. So dug a pond for him, <laughs> made a fountain in the middle of it. And it'll make you a pizza. Yeah, yeah, and I can do that now. <laughs> now well, we, you can, you we kind of got into the um, there for a while. We got into doing the outdoor, the outdoor earth. Uh, actually, act, actually, is an outdoor kitchen. You know where you do the with the clay and you do the brick on the on the table and, and basically build it all up, fill it up with sand, and actually do your own earth earth fireplace itself. Mm -hmm. and it's a homemade. It's the own mm -hmm. it's the old kitchen school looking. Thing and oh, cool. that's pretty popular. Very cool. So we just got to get the economy back so that you can do more of that. I'll tell you what, that that we, we need to we need to get the economy back for sure. Uh, you can find out more about the uh, um, the uh, Wiles Floral and, and hardscaping at WilesFloralHardscapes dot com. Yeah. It's W O W S. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. FloralHardscapes dot com. Phone number is I have a couple of them here. I'm not sure it's which. Nine one three six eight one ninety eight hundred on okay. the floral shop. Okay. And uh, you call and ask for my mom. Her name's Carla, and she'll uh, she'll be willing to happen to help you. She's been doing floral residence for about 40 years. She used to own Carla's Corner over in Martin City, over where RCs and Justin Gems is. And uh, she's well known around. She had a lot of people, and she's done a lot of weddings. So, if you guys are looking for a wedding, or you know anybody that wants a wedding, bring her. Come on in. She'll take care of you for sure. And we've only got about a minute or so here but one of the things that you were trying to do with the event that was supposed to happen today was raise money for the kidney right, foundation the, right exactly and i'm a, I'm a two-time kidney transplant patient i'm currently sitting on a dialysis machine waiting for my third transplant so i got a full full day when i get up in the morning i wake up 4 30 to do dialysis here and there and you know it's it's just one of those things i just keep going until i How, yeah yeah but you're waiting you're waiting on I'm that waiting on that next transplant we're going to get it and we're going to go on we're going to we're going to succeed so sure Sure. So how, the dialysis, how long are you on the machine? Uh, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a standard four, four hours. I'm on a three and a half hour schedule. Um, you say, I don't have time. Let's move on. Yeah, I got so, uh, yeah, I, got, um, I mean, I'm, I'm up 4.30. I'm on that machine 5.30 wow. in the morning. I'm off by 9.30, and I'm here by 10. Wow. You know, so, I mean, it's it's a, it's a full day, and I'm here sometimes till midnight. So Right. 
and then next morning it's waking up and either you're not you're not on the if you're not going to dialysis i'm here you know right so, how many days a, a week do you usually? We're go doing it dialysis? Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You know, I got I got a great bunch of nurf- nursing staff that uh, work up there at RAI up there. On I'd, I'd recommend any of those nurses to right. to anybody. They they're one of the best nurses around. Right. And so, what's it like when you get the dialysis um, when you're before you walk in there and it, you've had a couple of days off and then? Well, I'll tell you, you what, it feels like uh, you feel like you're swollen up like a whale and you. And you're you're stiff, you know. And then when really? you get off the machine, you just feel like you're energized with a battery charge and you're ready to go. So that's part of what we can point at today. You you look energized and ready. to Well, go I'm today. I'm not energized. I'm kind of worn out. I'm kind of worn birthday? out. It's my birthday and I'm a little sleepy. Okay. So, I mean, we're, we're going to give you a chance to take a nap here, work. so you, so you can enjoy the rest of your day and the that'll birthday. Work. Uh, I want to mention again, uh, Oliver's Pizzeria dot com, um, eight five one fifty one eleven area code nine one three Warren. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for hosting appreciate us it. today. All we right. really appreciate it. That'll do it for our show today. I, I want to thank Warren Weissman, the owner of Oliver's Pizzeria, for hosting us. Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic for also joining us today. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports. Kansas City Sports and Fitness and KC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in KC Sports and Fitness and KC Magazine. You'll find them all over Kansas City, and they're free, so pick them up today. These days we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Acupuncture Month and you can save 20% on your first acupuncture treatment. Just mention KC Sports or SheKC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center is now enrolling for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Come on out and check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit KCIceCenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. Take advantage of the Oliver's Pizzeria Lunchtime $5 sandwich special with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Enjoy a club meatball grinder or barbecue brisket sandwich at lunchtime for just $5 at Oliver's. And come on out to Oliver's for the Parkway Plaza Fall Festival on September 29th from noon to midnight. Admission is $5 for the event, which will include music, fun events for kids, and more. And $2 benefits the National Kidney Foundation. For more details, visit Oliver's at 4800 West 135th Street or go online to oliverspizzeria.com. 
Unleash your creativity at the Ceramics and Coffee House at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Come out for Family Fun Night, Kids Night Out, or many of the other scheduled events at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Or make your next birthday party, group event, or bridal shower unique at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. And right now, get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. The Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf. Come on out to the Kansas City Comets Fan Fest on September 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Independence Event Center. Admission is free. For more information on Fan Fest or tickets for the Kansas City Comets upcoming season, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. 